That's Zaina Labadov, European youth champion. So on paper, you would probably make him favourite for this, but this is going to be interesting because Tatiev has shown us plenty in this competition so far. He boxes out of the South Pole stand. Zaina Labadov, orthodox fighter, left of the body, straight away there from, from Tatiev. Zoran Labadov is the bigger of the two here. Looking for a strong right hand. And then trying to rip a left hook. Get left to the body there from Tashiev. Right to the body there from Zion Labadov. Left hand up top though there from Tashiev just pins Zion Labadov as he was looking to throw his own right hand. Tashiev again just looking for that left and Zion Labadov I think managed to drop his, his right glove on it. Good lively start this from both. There's been a lot thrown in the opening minute and a fair amount landed. Good jab there from Tashiev who's Looking to try and get on top of Zaina Labadov a bit here. He's making the Russian work really, really hard. Right hand from Sashiev, left hand to the body. Zaina Labadov trying to just thump his right hand down the middle. Nice left there from Tashiev. Zaina Labadov had brought his right hand back a little bit low. And then the Kyrgyzstan fighter throwing a right hand. Now oh, that's a shame. The head guard needs to be adjusted because there was a really good pace and rhythm about this so far. Zaina Labadov above me just looks towards his blue corner there for a bit of advice from the from the coaches. Just past the midway point of the round. Right hand there from Tashiev. Good exchange on the inside between the two of them. And Tashiev is just walking Zion Labadov down. Every chance he gets, as soon as they break, it's always the fighter in red who's again just trying to close that gap, get on top of him, looking for that left hand, looking for the lead jab. Now Zion Labadov has landed plenty of punches himself. But I just like the dynamic of this. I just think it's really interesting that Tashiev against an opponent like this who's taller physically stronger most probably and can crack a bit with that right hand he is just kind of walking in on him he's, he's moving the head as he comes forward sometimes but not always just using the gloves to to protect himself most of the time into the final few seconds of of round one let's go with the one two left to the body Split scoring there, Tashiev with three of the judges, the other two going for, for Zaina Labadov. As I said, there was, there was a lot traded there. There was a lot going on, a lot happening. I'd have gone Tashiev just about. It wasn't that Zaina Labadov didn't land, because he did, definitely did. Tashiev. I just like the cut of his jib, if that, if that makes sense. The way he brought the fight to Zaina Labadov, I thought it was pretty even in terms of who landed what. Seconds out, please. We've had some very, very close fights in rugby in this session. As I said in the previous fight, that's exactly what you expect at this stage. We're at the quarterfinals. This is a world 
Championship. There are not going to be any easy fights at this stage. At any stage. Right to the body from Sandra Labadov, left to the body from, from Tashev. Good strong left there from Tashev as well. Sandra Labadov just dips his knees, looks for that right again. Left to the body there from Tashev. Nice bit of work there from Zaina Labadov. But this is a tough fight. This is a hard fight to be in. Physically, this is very, very demanding. Good left hand from Zaina Labadov. But then just caught that lead right of Tashev as he was trying to dip and throw his own right to the body there. The Russian Zaina Labadov, remember of Russia, he's in the blue. Tashev of Kyrgyzstan, he's in a red. <laughs> Left hand looks a little bit low there, maybe for Tashev, but no complaints from Zaina Labadov. <laughs> Turning south pull there, Zaina Labadov very briefly did that. A few seconds previously as well. Nice left hand that from Zaina Labadov. Really well delivered. Just past the midway point of round two, and this has been another entertaining round. And like the first round, they've been trading on pretty equal terms here, I would say, in terms of what's landed. Sasha just trying to pin Zaina Labadov back in the corner. The Russian wasn't having that, just slid away to his left. Again, boxing southpaw there, Zaina Labadov. Back to orthodox now. Lovely right hand there, caught Tashev as Tashev was coming in. And the left hand from the Russian as well. Left to the body there from Tashev. But this is some good quality stuff from Zainal Abadov. Holding those gloves very, very low. Just trying to tempt Tashev to, to come forward. He just sense that the confidence has, has risen here from Zainal Abadov that he's maybe getting a sense that he's beginning to read the fighter from Kyrgyzstan a bit as he comes forward. Again, just holding those gloves low. Throws that left hand. He doesn't want to get too cocky. I'll make this a good round for him with 30 seconds to go. Very tight through the first half of it, but I thought in that last minute that Zaina Labadov has just kind of taken it away from Tashiev a little bit. Or enough, anyway, for me. Straight right hand there from Zaina Labadov. Left hand comes back from Tashiev. One, two from Zainal Avadov. Wasn't completely clean, but just knocked Tashiev back onto his heels. Bell goes at the end of the second. Zainal Avadov gets it on four out of the five cards. So he has got a two-point lead on two cards. Tashi have a two-point lead on one, and the other two are level. So Tashiev needs them both. Zaina Labadov needs one of them. So again, this is, this is teetering on a tightrope going into the final round. And it will come down to, to those two cards, as other fights have, because, again, as in other fights, this has been that even that you cannot see anybody scoring a 10-8 either way in the final round. You just can't. So it comes down to those two cards. Zaina Labadov needs to get one of them. Tashev needs both of them. So Zaina Labadov in the blue of Russia. Tashev in the red of Kyrgyzstan. This has been a terrific fight so far. Will either of them tire in this third and final round? That's that's another consideration. As I mentioned, this, is, this has been a hard fight. It might not look like it's been boxed at a frenetic pace because it hasn't been they've been measured these two but they've been throwing plenty of punches and they've been pulling plenty into the punches too left hand there from Tashiev just short with the overhand left there Tashiev
left to the body. Long right hand, though, replies there from Zaina Labadov. The left to the body was from Tashiev. Tashiev just blocking off the exit there as Arnold Abadov was trying to slink off to his left. Clubbed him with a couple of right hands. I think the, the glove half blocked one of them midway through round three. And again, this still this still right on the edge. Left hand there from Tashiev. Straight left hand from Tashiev. Definitely landed. Look for it again there. Zainal Abadov just needs to start doing a little bit more here. Well, the fighter from Kyrgyzstan could maybe just start to take a touch of control. Heading into the final minute, just a reminder of the situation. There are two level scorecards. Zainal Abadov needs to win one of them. Tashiev needs to win both of them. Zainal Abadov just tending to stand in front of Tashiev a bit here. Maybe the pace is, is turning on him slightly of the two of them. Throwing that right hand, just trying to ditch it out and keep Tashiev off him. Straight left hand there from Tashiev and looks for it again. Goes to the body with the left. For me, Zainal Labadov just needs to rally a bit in this last 30 seconds because if he doesn't, this could slip away from him. Straight left hand again there from Tashiev. Zainal Labadov is on the retreat here. Not a good look. He's got a two-point lead on two cards. Tashiev has got a two-point lead on one card. That leaves those other two even, and that's why, as I said, Tashiev needs both of those level cards. Zainal Abadov needs one. And I think there's, a, there's definitely a chance there that Tashiev has, has got them both because I make that his round. And I think it was, for me anyway, sitting where I'm sitting, I thought that was quite easy to score. Tashiev round, but he needs both of those drawn cards. Ladies and gentlemen, we my point to a split decision. From the red corner, Zandro Tashiev. And Tashiev gets it, and he's got both of those two drawn cards. He's converted both of them into wins. And that sees him through to the semi-finals, guarantees him a bronze medal and sees him through to the semi-finals.